Hey there, this is Ben from Circle Canoe Games, and this is a quick overview of my new one-card game, Quantum Coins. Uh, in Quantum Coins, you're going to be playing as a penny spaceship. You'll be flying around this board in order to survive and try to destroy your opponent. When starting Quantum Coins, each player gets the same coins to start with. You get one quarter, two nickels, one penny, and three dimes. Uh, and you see I have one side flipped all to heads and the other side flipped to tails. The youngest player gets starting initiative, and so they get to choose which of the two starting places they're going to start. We'll say that the starting player's over here, but we'll start right here inside that circle. And so the other player places likewise on the other side, and the game is ready to begin. In each round, there's really three steps that you do. There's a bid for initiative, there is movement, and then there is attack and defense. And each player is going to participate in all three sections. So for the initiative bid, each player takes one of each available coin into their hand, and they secretly pick one of the coins, and you're competing based on the size of the coin. You do have the option of picking no coin. So you will select which coin you want. I would take this, I would secretly hold it in my hand, and then once both players have selected, reveal. Whichever player has the larger coin, they have initiative for the remainder of that round. And any coin that's used in the initiative bit is then discarded for the remainder of the round. And next comes movement. Uh, movement is the part of this game that really operates most like a miniatures game because you need to use the coins that you have available as templates in order to move where you want on the board. So if you want to move over here, you need to line up coins in order to get you there. So maybe you just want to get into this region right there. I would use a coin, holding the original penny. I'm going to hold that anywhere along here. Uh, the only place on the board that I can't go is inside this. This is the black hole in the center. So anywhere else I can go. And I'm going to just put that right there. Hold this down so I don't move it. And there, I have placed it in that region, and again, any coins used for templates are going to get discarded for the remainder of the round. Then it would be the other player's turn. Now they're going to be able to attack and defend. The player with initiative goes first. Now they're in a region with a hit plus one, that means their attack automatically hits one. But there is a cost right there, a cost of one coin in order to use that. So they are going to go ahead and discard. Now they have to decide how many of their remaining coins they're going to attack with, knowing that they're going to have to defend probably afterwards. Uh, so in this case, they already have one attack. Um, they're going to do a one additional attack. And so they take the coins they plan to attack with, and they're just going to roll it inside cupped hands, place it out. Okay? Heads are success. So that means they get one hit from that attack plus one hit for the region they're on, so they have two hits. And now it's the other player's turn to defend. And they likewise get to decide how many they want to defend with. Uh, in this case, uh, there's two hits, and they're actually gonna use three coins in order to defend with. And likewise, they are looking for heads. They got three heads. That was a really good defense, so they blocked everything. And as the defender, they are allowed to reclaim one block in order to use for their own attack. So they're gonna keep that. Anything else is getting discarded up here. Likewise, the uh, original attacker is discarding anything for the remainder of the round. Okay, now it is the uh, defending players, the player without initiative, now they get to counter attack. So they're going to do an attack of three. Okay, so. Here is one hit. The other two are misses, so those just get discarded. And here, they're going to defend with their remaining two. Okay, so here, they got two misses. So what happens in the event of a successful attack, or in this case, we have one hit over on this side and no blocks. In that case, the player needs to lose 
the number of dimes equal to how many hits were successful. So in this case, there was one successful hit. This dime then gets removed from the game, discard area up outside the play area. And so that will not go back into circulation the next round. The rest of these coins will, but that one will not. The only way to get any of these lost dimes back is to go to repair. And there you immediately regain the coin. So we're ready for the next round. All players reclaim all coins that have been lost for just that round. The player that lost the one shield because of the attack, that's still out of the game. And now we go back to the initiative bid. Play continues like this until one of the players is attacked and they have no remaining dimes to offset that attack, no more shields. So that is Quantum Coins in a nutshell. It's a really fun micro miniature game that you can play with you anywhere. So I hope you enjoy, have a good one.